He's no good to me, Dad. Welcome aboard. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Hey guys, it's me, Yosubis. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> hey guys, we who she was on. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I've got. It's the brand new Star Wars droids, The Adventures of R2-D2 and C-3PO. And this is the Boba Fett from that series. He's in his original sort of blue and yellow costume, which is very reminiscent of the uh, original appearance of Boba Fett from the uh, holiday Special from the little cartoon in the holiday special, and also how he how he actually appeared in the droids television series, and he looks awesome. I really love this figure. It's a three three quarter inch figure, which is where Star Wars began, and where for me Star Wars um, is is thriving right now in the three three quarter inch. And like I said, uh, I've said it multiple times over recent months, but I literally am going to be doubling down on all things three three quarter inch for Star Wars over the next like year. Or so. 2022 is going to be a big year for 20, for the 3 3 quarter inch line, so I'm going to be doubling down. So here we are guys, I, I do also have C-3PO and R2-D2 to review, so please stay tuned for that. I'll be reviewing those um, over the coming days. But for now guys, we're going to jump straight in. This is the Lucas 50th Anniversary Collection, and it does come with a coin, which is very reminiscent of the old school stuff. It feels almost a shame to open this card back, but remember guys... I unbox things so you don't have to. That is the tagline of the channel. Oh my god, look at that card back. <laughs> I unbox things so you don't have to, guys. Let's get him out. I wish they'd have managed to make a way by now where you could actually unbox them and repackage them. Oh, we got the bit. Oh, the coin's quite heavy. Wow. Okay. What we got here? So we've got the backpack. Does the backpack actually fire the missile? No, it doesn't, sadly. That would have been a nice little touch. Okay, I've got everything out of the packaging. Let's just go yeet and get rid of that crap. All right, guys, here is our new Boba Fett out of the packaging. We'll take a closer look when we do get to the desk cam, but just for now, guys, this is the new Boba Fett, as you can see, and he looks very cool. So let's have a look what we got details-wise. So the little, uh, the little antenna is stuck upwards. You can't really move that. Um, he does have two little holes. There are some holes in the back of the cape. I think that's just for artistic look. Uh, the actual backpack itself has got the little nub there that fits into the nub on the back. So you don't need to put that through the cape or anything. So that just slots in like that. Nice and simple. There is a head under there. You're going to need some hot water to get that off. But there is actually a blue head under there. I don't think it's going to have any form of deco on it or anything. I think it's literally just going to be a plain blue head just to put the helmet on. It's a ball, a ball peg that the head sat on as well. Uh, so the head can look up and down as well as left and right. There's pivot in the head as well, which is nice. The arms lift up at the side hinge and also rotate. There are single hinged elbows here which bend upwards like that. Hands are on little ball joints. So these are like little Black Series figures, which is nice. They've got plenty of articulation. These are proper vintage style figures, um, not 5POA, which is nice. Uh, waist swivel there, which is nice and crunch. Legs do lift out as well as forwards and backwards. Ooh, them, they're very stiff, the legs there. And they are, there's a top thigh cut there with uh, single hinge knees, but they do bend in pretty far. And then the feet are on rocker and pivot. There is pegs that should you wish to use a display base. Not that you're probably going to need to, but you can use a display base if you want to. He's actually a little bit of trouble to stand, but um, he has to stand with his legs very sort of like wide, like John Wayne style. 
And he does come with his uh, little small blaster as well, which has got a little bit of excess plastic there. Let's pull that off. We're going to have to take some plastic scissors to that. Like Warhammer scissors. Oh, no, it's done. A little bit of extra plastic. There is the little gun. Which is nice. I can slot that in his hand. Go ahead and put that in. There we go. He's got his gun as well now. And of course, the main thing about this figure, I'll put this guy on the desk cam so we can go down there in a moment and take a closer look. But what I'm loving about this figure, first of all, though, is the fact that it came with this coin. So we've got we've got we've got a new series of coins coming out from the looks of things, and this one has Boba Fett the Bounty Hunter written on it, which is nice. I'm not sure if you can see this very well with the shine and stuff on the camera. Uh, I'll try and show you on the desk cam a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, this has got Boba Fett on one side. On the other side, it's the Lucas 50th film anniversary. And it says, the most notorious bounty hunter in the galaxy, Boba Fett tracks Han Solo and returns him to Jabba the Hutt for bounty. May the force be with you. He's written all around the side there. Very nice. The coin is actually very, very metallic and got a quite a bit of heft to it. It's not cheap. I expected this to be just like tin plate crap. But no, it's got some heft to it, which I like. Very cool. So, very happy with that. Very nice. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on down to the desk cam so you guys can get an up-close personal look at this new Boba Fett. And like I said, I will try and show you his commemorative coin. So, let's take a closer look at Boba Fett. All right, guys, so here is Boba Fett out of the packaging looking awesome. I really need to get around to making a diorama that's a little bit smaller. This one's obviously 6 6 inch scale, so it makes him look really small. And my camera obviously is set to a 6 inch scale height. I need to get a smaller tripod to go lower for the 3 inch. It's been a long time since I've reviewed 3 inch figures, though. Uh, I reviewed 3 inch uh, 5 POA stuff. Back when the channel first started and I first started get, uh, getting back into Star Wars toys and uh, it's been a long time. So I'm really happy uh, to be going back to 3 3 quarter inch. For me that's where Star Wars nostalgia is. When I was a kid it was all 3 3 quarter inch so it's cool that uh, I mean, I'm really enjoying the Star Wars figures that they're putting out recently in the 3 3 quarter inch style. They just look awesome. <laughs> This Boba Fett is really cool though. It's nice to have a Boba Fett in this sort of paint style as well. Uh, very reminiscent, like say, of the Holiday Special. Um, them sort of colours, sort of them pastel colours. Obviously, this one's based on the Droids television series, the little cartoon from back in the, what, 1983, was it? Uh, something like that. Yeah, he does look badass. You can't deny that Boba Fett is a badass. I know, I know I'm a proper fanboy for saying it, but... I really do love Boba Fett. Uh, the figure itself, though, is so cool. I love the little cloth cape. That's very nice. Uh, I love the colour designs. Like I say, I keep saying it, but there, there definitely is a head under there. I wish I could get this helmet off to have a look, but you need to boil and pop more than likely. Uh, the head will just pop off. It is just a ball joint under there, but um, yeah, if you get if you do the boil and pop method, you should be able to pull that in and head out and see what's under there. But either way... Such a cool figure. Definitely worth having in the collection. I'm very much looking forward to getting the 6-inch var like variant of this as well. Uh, it comes in the nice fancy box, a bit like the uh, the comic book ones that came out earlier this, uh, earlier this year. Yeah. But guys, what are your thoughts on this Boba? Let me know in the comments below. Is it going to be one that you're picking up for your collection? Because I'd really love to know. And just before we go, let's take a quick look at this commemorative coin. There you go, you can see it a lot better on this cam. So there it is, Boba Fett Bounty Hunter. Very nice indeed. Like I say, expecting this to be cheap crap, it feels decent quality. Um, obviously I could bend it, I could, could I bend it if I wanted to? Actually no, I probably couldn't, it's quite solid metal. Probably take a little bit of bending that. I was expecting it to be really cheap, but it's not, it's really good quality. It's got a little write up about the character there on the back. And obviously with the May the Force be with you. 
So I was expecting to collect these figures and potentially maybe let, let these coins go, like, start, like give them onto another collector or sell them or something to so recoup a bit of money for the collecting. But you know what? I'm probably going to collect these, you know? I'm probably going to see how many I can get because they are coming out for various other figures, not just these ones. We have seen this announcement, these coins slowly coming back in for the three three quarter inch stuff. So we might see a few more. Obviously, they're, they're going to include the coins with the um, Haslab stuff. You know, the Haslab's uh, Rancor was going to get a few of these coins. But it'd be nice to see where some of these now pop up. I hope they continue it. It'll be a fun little collect, you know, collection to have these little coins. But like I say, guys, what's your thoughts on this boba? Let us know in the comments below. But let's head on back to the main cam and finish off this video. So, guys, what are your thoughts on this awesome boba fet? Let us know in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed today's video, then please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps out and helps us to keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the force be with you.